Hey guys, and welcome back to another video on the Blender Builder channel. So, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use Rigid Body in Blender. What I'm going to be showing you guys how to do is kind of like, it's like physics, like how to use physics in Blender. So you can use it to like make things fall, uh, you can like make simulations, animations, all that kind of stuff. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is just delete everything, so A, delete. And so what you're going to do is add a plane and just scale this up a little bit and also add a cube and then move this oh wait a cube add a cube move it up and make it a little smaller so the first thing we need to do is go over here to the physics properties and select rigid body now let's play you can see Bruh. that'll fall right there so to stop this from happening what you need to do is add rigid body to the plane as well except change the active to passive. So now when you press play, it smacks it. Alright, so let's change the simulation up a little bit. So we can just delete these, press A and delete again, and go to add, mesh, UV sphere. And then go into the X viewport, go to tab, edit mode, and just delete the top half of this. So now I also want to add a another cube smaller back up and so now we're gonna do the same thing except with a cube and like a bowl so add the rigid body active and add the rigid body passive so move it up a little bit and now it's play and Bruh. you see that it's still it doesn't fall all the way so now we need to change is you click on this passive object and because it's a bowl there's still an invisible layer right here on the top. So to change this, what you need to do is select objects, change the shape from convex hull to mesh. And so now, once you change that, press play, and it falls right in. You can also make this ball right here animated. And so basically what that does is that you can move it around after the simulation has started. So like, for example, right here, fill in, and you can move this around. All right, so I'm back to the cube and the plane um, simulation right here. And so I just wanna show you guys how to change bounciness and how to change friction. So to do so, go down here and surface responses. All right, first, I'm gonna show you guys how to change bounciness. So what you need to do is you need to select the object, the active object. And I recommend taking the bounciness up to like probably the max since it doesn't change very much if you only move it a little bit. So now we can test it and you can see that it bounces a little bit. But if you want it to be extra bouncy, like like extra turbulence you gotta change the bounciness of the plane so if we make this one and we make this one watch this you're gonna get me in trouble yeah got that turbulence i mean all right let me just reset the bounciness back to zero and friction uh it's kind of similar the way that it works so you can just tilt this right here and so we're gonna let this fall onto it okay so when it falls it goes off right but let's say we change the friction of this this plane right here. So now when it falls, it's a lot harder for it to fall. So with the friction, we can even try with the animated. So we'll just let the cube fall down. And then from there, rotate it and see if it falls. Nope, you got that gorilla grip. All right, so one thing you guys may notice with your simulation is that when it keeps going, so you let, you let the simulation play out and then let's say it starts to fall but all of a sudden it just suddenly ends so by default in blender it's set to end at 250 frames so after 250 frames pass the simulation just ends so what you want to do to change this is you want to change the end frames so it changes it to 500 but this is still not enough because look if you watch this it goes to 250 right so it rolls it rolls it, it rolls it rolls and then it falls but at 250 it just freezes so to change this what you need to do is you need to go over here to scene properties and click on rigid body world so in rigid body world you can see all these kind of things these are a lot of different settings I'll go over a few of them but um, a lot of them I don't even know what they do but what you need to do is you need to go over to cache and change the end frames to the same end frames you have uh, right here in the playback. So now that they're both at 500, we can just skip over to 250. 
it just keeps going. It fell so far, I can't even see it anymore. While we're still on Richard Body World, I want to talk about how to change the gravity of the scene. So what you want to do is you're in Rigid Body World, so just scroll down over to Field Weights. And if you have Field Weights, you can take the gravity down to like, let's take it to 0.1, right? So now you press play, it falls way slower than it usually would. So now that we're back to this um, bowl and cube simulation, I want to show you guys how to copy Rigid Body onto different objects. So let me just remove the Rigid Body real quick. So let's say um, I had copied a bunch of cubes right here, right? And I wanted them all to fall into my bowl. So I have these three cubes, right? But none of them have rigid body. So instead of just assigning rigid body to each one by itself, what you can do is just select one of them, add the rigid body, and change whatever settings you want to change, right? And so now what you need to do is press shift and then select these others. And make sure you select the one that has the rigid body last and that its outline is orange, not red. So now what you need to do, go to object, rigid body, copy from active. And now we can play, and they all fall into the box. All right, so now I wanna show you guys how to do something called baking. So if you notice, whenever I play a simulation, can see that it has to load right even though you can't really tell that's lagging or anything that's just because it's just a small simulation so let's say i were to copy these a bunch of times all right so i don't know what i created i just copied it a bunch of times but now look when i press play it's not as smooth as it was before when there wasn't much going on so let's say i want to just save this right i don't want it to be this laggy anymore and i want to i'm thinking i'm gonna render this this is the one i'm gonna render what you need to do is come back to the scene properties and go down to rigid body work and scroll right here to bake so press bake and all this does is you can see there's a loading bar right there basically it kind of like plays out the simulation and every time you play it now it remembers so now once it's baked it's no longer a simulation it's kind of like animation all right so now that's finished baking just press play and now it just goes all right, so keep in mind that when once you bake, you can't really change the simulation anymore. So let's say I move this over here, right? When I press play, it just goes right back. So once you bake, that should be your finish. If you want to change your mind after you bake the object, you can just go back to scene properties and delete bake. So now, using all of this information that we learned, I'm gonna create a plank tower that I make a ball, fly through it, and it's gonna break it apart. So what you need to do is just uh, plane right here, and just put some blocks on it. You don't gotta put that much. You don't gotta add that much detail. If you want to, that's, that's good. So just make a couple of these. All right, so now that I finished the plank tower, what you wanna do is add mesh and UV sphere. You can just move this over on the Y axis and just move it up a little bit. Uh, I like the shade smooth, but you don't really have to. And uh, also make sure you add a rigid body physics to this active and I'm just gonna mass up to 30 kilograms okay and so now what you want to do is you want to move you want to move it a little bit farther back right and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna animate it going towards the plank tower and then we're gonna change it back to rigid body so that it'll smash into it so the first thing you need to do is press I and insert a keyframe for the location then check animated and press I over the animated as well now what you want to do is go to like frame 10 or like 20 or whatever, but just know the fewer frames, the faster the, the ball will be going. So I'm going to do 10. Now once you move to the frame of your choosing, uh, also move the ball uh, much closer. This should be good enough. Now press I again, add location, and uncheck animated, and then press I over animated again. So now if you go back to frame zero, watch, watch it fly right there however if you notice uh, it's a little bit hard to tell since it's going very fast but at the very end it tends to slow down if you want to stop this from happening what you need to do is right click anywhere here on the playbacks click interpolation mode and click linear and so what this changes is it no longer slows down at the very end so now when you press play straight there 
all right guys so that is all for the video um as you can see right here i just made it a lot more detailed i just added like way more bricks made the ball bigger faster whatever i just added some differences i uh, thank you guys all for watching to the end of the video if you guys got any questions leave them down in the comments down below uh i'll take the top questions and i'll just make them in a comment and pin it but uh if you enjoyed the video make sure to like subscribe comment down below uh if you guys have any video recommendations leave those down in the comments as well and with all that being said, I'll see you guys next time.